Hi, my name is Amy Burke. I have been applying the concepts of BGI in my practice and in my life since 1999 when I met Sue. And um, I noticed that there was a question on the BGI community page. I love to get on and answer these in sort of a quick video format. And I really encourage other chiropractors to do the same so that eventually we can have a little library of people's different responses to questions that are valuable to the community. So one of the questions that I saw recently was asking about tonal chiropractic and how do you talk about using a tonal approach in chiropractic. And I just wanted to jump on this issue because it's something I feel pretty strongly about. Um, tonal, if we think about it, really has nothing to do with technique. And it's kind of like in the old days when we used to have two camps and we would have a tonal camp and, I'm sorry, a um, structural camp and a tonal camp. And what's so silly about that is that, of course, if we're doing any type of work, understanding a tensegrity model, we are affecting the structure of the whole, no matter whether we're doing it through a soft connective tissue force application or a high velocity, low amplitude force application. So it's not about the force application that determines whether or not we're doing a structural or a tonal technique. It's about whether we're aware of the tone of the system. And so um, this whole division, we're so good at dividing as a profession and we're not so good at uniting. Um, so that's why I felt compelled to get on here. I'm really interested in creating more and more unification in our profession. And one of the things that was so inspiring about Sue's dialogue with people is that her vision was to unite chiropractors who practiced in different ways, whether it was applying a, a gentle force application that didn't necessarily have a thrust, thrust involved or people that were doing traditionally osseous techniques or people that were doing postural techniques. So um, in order to, I, I feel like your question is one that I wouldn't really know how to answer except by saying, I don't think your question means what you think it means. Um, and because I think what you're asking is how do we separate out tonal techniques from structural techniques? And my answer to that would be that it is not productive to do so. And that the second somebody is aware of the frequency, resonance, and vibration of somebody's system or of a pattern or of a vertebra and goes to address that with an awareness of the whole, they are applying a tonal understanding in a chiropractic adjustment, no matter what their thrust looks like or their non-thrust looks like. And I just feel like the more that we can be clear with our language and our intention, the better the outcome is not only for the people that we're serving on the table, but also for the profession. So thank you super a lot for asking that question. And um, I'm gonna look at your other ones and see if I have any other adding that I would do. Thanks.